hi everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching my name is Ola Jumoke so I've just come back home from work and on my way back from work I started to think about how simplified my life is or lack of simplicity thereof and I started thinking about the things that caused me a lot of anxiety and stress be that on a daily basis or periodically and trying to understand what the root cause of that is and how I can simplify my life to make things a lot less stressful and to make my life a lot more fulfilling and enjoyable. And I came up with three practical things that for me at least I could tweak to make sure that I have a healthier quality of life whilst minimizing my stress and anxiety levels. Now this list of course is not at all exhaustive. I will be bringing you a few more things that I've thought about over time, but if you'd like to know what these three elements are, keep on watching. So I work as an investment banker and I have watched my CEO for the last six and a half or seven years wear exactly the same outfit to work. I kid you not, he wears exactly the same shirt, exactly the same suit to work. Obviously, it's not exactly the same. It's not the same item. He's probably got a multitude of crisp, incredibly dazzling white shirts and incredible suits. But I was thinking about it because I remember when I joined the firm and I thought, oh, this is quite bizarre. Like he never changes color. It's black and white. And um, I was thinking about it and thinking about how bizarre it was seven years ago. But seven years in, I've come to realize that, you know what, he might be onto something here. Now, I thought for a woman, it would be extremely difficult to have a uniform, so to speak, for work. Um, and I have a lot of clothes. I have a lot of clothes. And this is not to sound braggy. It's just the reality of things. I have different colors. I have different textures. I have different styles. I love style. I absolutely love style and I love fashion. I hate to call it fashion, but I really like great style. And so at the beginning of the pandemic, I was shopping like crazy. I wasn't sure what that was, but I just kept shopping and shopping. I think it was a way to fill some of that void that I felt being away from friends, being away from family. And so I decided to just shop until yeah i was tired of shopping so i have so many clothes just sat in my wardrobe collecting dust and not really getting the wear out of them that they deserve so i've been thinking about decluttering my wardrobe for a while now but anyway i digress and so a few months ago i decided to test a model out i decided to restrict the colors i wear to work to two colors black and white and frankly it's been okay so far because i have a lot of clothes i find that I'm not restricted in terms of my styling. I can still look very elegant and very presentable for work whilst keeping to this, um, I suppose, constraint of two colors. And I actually find it makes my life a lot easier. I don't have to worry too much about what to wear because I already have my whites and my blacks lined up and, you know, I like to put outfits together the night before. I'm just one of those people who likes to put their outfits together before uh, the next day. So in my mind, I already know what I'm wearing the next day. It's just a case of getting up, making sure it's been dry cleaned or pressed and putting it on and going to work. So I definitely feel like I am benefiting from a more minimalistic wardrobe, even though I still have a ton of things, which I probably will wear at some point. For now, I don't know. I'm still thinking about whether or not to sell the clothes or whether or not to give them to charity. I definitely will be decluttering over the next three months, but I found that minimalizing my style in terms of my color theme has worked tremendously well. The second thing that I realized will definitely help on my journey to becoming more intentional in the way I live is being more intentional about what I eat. So lately I've been feeling very unhappy healthy i've been eating a lot of um what i want you know chocolates junk food etc i don't eat a lot but i do eat quite unhealthily and so i was in portugal uh last week and after the holiday i just felt very pudgy i felt very sort of full <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but it was a really exquisite resort we had so much fun it was great but I did come back feeling very unhealthy and I felt like I needed some sort of a change. And so I started walking a few months ago, but I do feel like that won't be enough. I need to just clean up my diet as well and be more intentional about how I eat. So since I've been back from Portugal, I've been eating more healthily, fruits and veg um, every single day, also cutting down on the amount of junk that I eat. I'm really trying. <laughs> I'm also having some really lovely 
um, healthy teas and herbal mixes and smoothies that I make at home. I, I love juicing, so that's not really a problem for me. It also saves money. It's a great way to be more sensible about financing and just, you know, being more healthy, I found, has given me more energy. It makes me feel a lot better about myself and hopefully um, will help me in terms of my energy levels and my skin. My skin has really suffered over the last two years just from not being out a lot and, you know, not getting exercise exercise, not getting fresh air. And so I really look forward to having healthier skin on the back of my new diet. So this list is not at all exhaustive. There are many things that I will embark upon in terms of correcting or improving. But the final thing that came to mind on my way back from work today was saying no to things that I don't want to do or saying no to requests that are just not they don't fit into my schedule or lifestyle. For some people, it's very easy to say no, but I'm one person who has struggled over the years to say no in a complete manner. You know, so I'm one of those people who will say yes to things, even though it's extremely inconvenient for me, um, but it just keeps the other person happy. And I've done that for such a long time. And breaking out of that, if you're anything like me, breaking out of that will be very difficult. It's going to be very challenging. But I feel that to look after myself and to give myself the best of myself to my family, my friends and those that are around me, I need to be in the right mindset, the right mind frame, if I can call it that. So one thing that has really caused a lot of stress over the years for me is saying yes when I actually mean to say no. And I do that because I want the person to be happy. I don't want to be seen as this mean individual, but it's caused me a lot of stress over the years. And I've learned that, you know, every now and then I will have to say no and be okay with saying no. And how do I do that? Well, practicing saying no and sometimes putting myself first. It's not something that I do typically, but it's something that I know I need to start doing going forward because oftentimes after I've said yes to something that I know is extremely inconvenient for me, I then start to think about that, you know, how to fulfill my obligation or my promise to that individual or to that, you know, commitment. Over time, so I'm stressing about it. Oh, I need to get this and this and this in place. And it just ends up sucking a lot of energy and a lot of, you know, positive vibes for me. So I figured that I think my friends and family would want to be around someone who is less stressed and happier about her decisions and can give herself fully because she's not under any compulsion. She doesn't feel sort of under duress to say yes to things that, you know, frankly, she doesn't want to say yes to. So I know that that's going to be quite a challenge, but I know it's something I definitely need to work on so I can be the best version of myself for me and those around me. So that's it for this video. I do hope you found it useful and I hope it's encouraged you to maybe make some changes where necessary. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already subscribed. And to all of my new subscribers, a warm welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. I do appreciate every single one of you. Don't forget to click the notification bell if you do subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Until next time, look after yourselves. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.